especially when you're, you know, just starting out and you're taking everything so damn seriously and not as if you're not taking your music seriously now or any different. You're just taking, it's more of like your ego doesn't know how to equate to the music and how to defer it from criticism, you know, without, you know, it making you just totally heated and, you know, out of your mind. Um, and I used to go out of my mind a lot on really stupid things concerning music, shows, getting paid. It, I mean, it's, I think it's a normal run for kids that get into things. They think it's going to be easy. They think that they get signed, you know, their ass might instantly get wiped, you know. And even if they had a major label deal where they were getting their ass wiped, um, in the long run, you know, the percentages and everything that panned out, I don't think would really, it wouldn't be satisfying. It'd be, it'd be very temporary. Let's, let's flip this whole thing up, what I'm talking about. Let's say I'm speaking of it in a current sense, because it's kind of funny mm -hmm. how people are like chasing the dollar so hard. And it's like now is the perfect time to like start this whole like musical revolution because yo, there's the, the well is empty. So the mind flood and the flow of your ideas should just like combust. I mean, what, you know, what comes out of you should just be so free and open and would be great to hear people do that. You know what I mean? I respect the idea of, you know, people taking a chance with their music and taking a chance against what is you know, preconceived of them making what is, you know, pre-forecasted as them to do and then just taking a complete detour maybe or just coming with something completely beautiful and out of this world and <clears throat> those are the things that I live for, you know, with past and present music. I mean, there is a certain aspect of your music, you know, when you come across something that you hear in your music and it's definably you, I mean, you own it. It's, I mean, you made it. It's, it, you're not, you weren't mimicking anybody. And a lot of times those happy accidents happen, you know, and it becomes yours and it can develop into something, which is really cool with a lot of bands, not, not previews, like bands, tons of bands. Those, you just figure out a path that kind of opens up a doorway, you know, with these accidents. And that's what d def definitely prefuses um, been based on his accidents, been based, rooted in hip hop, uh, you know, timeline wise, but always based on accidents.